All right, so we're gonna take some Jimmy Dean premium pork sausage, get that in the pan, and we're gonna cook that up. Take some Oaxaca cheese and set it right in the center. Our Velveeta, put that right there. Four cheese Mexican, two cups. Get that on here, right in that corner looks good. We're gonna take some jalapeno, all right, pepper. Get a bunch of them right about there. We're gonna use a small can of Rotel Chipotle diced with green chilies. Get that right there. A little bit of minced garlic. Set it about right there. Onion mints, just a little bit. Then I grab a fully cooked sausage. Get that right there. A little bit of cayenne pepper. Chipotle pepper. All right, we're gonna take this 375 degrees Fahrenheit, let everything start to melt. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes or so. Once you start seeing the cheese look like that, cheese getting like that, we're gonna start to mix it in, right? And start to combine all of this and then put this, return this back to the oven, right? But let's just go ahead and get it all mixed in really good. So now, we're gonna pull it back out one last time. It's been about 10, 15 minutes. You can see that. All that cheese is really just about melted, but we wanna stir this one more time. And this is 100% optional. I'm gonna go with a beer of choice. Go with a little Modelo's, half a cup or so, right? Let's give it a little extra flavor. And again, this is optional. You don't have to add this. It'll still taste amazing. All right, let's give it a little bit of beer and a little bit more, okay? Now what we'll do is, we'll give it a one good stir around. Get that beer and that cheese, see that? So it still needs to go a little more. We'll get that mixed in. We're gonna return it back to the oven and we're gonna allow it to sit in there for another 15 minutes or so. All right, here we go. Let's pull it out. Now look at that right there. And look at that right there. We can take some freshly chopped cilantro Top it off on the top like that. And this thing is a great appetizer. It's also good for bar barbecues, parties, whatever. The chips, because you know you got to have the dipping chips. All right, let's do that. You can pour it on there. You can dip it in there. You can put it on a plate. It makes some difference. If you don't add the beer, it will be thicker. You can always add water, not beer, if you want it thinner like that. Mm hmm. Just like that. Oh. Doesn't that look good? Look at this. Yeah, it looks great. Yes. Bon appetit. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, that's the best dip ever. Queso dip. So good. It's like the best dip ever.